This is the Quad Gods versus Tynum Fear. I'm Smashley Monroe hosting here with my colleague Bulldog. Hello, and we've got an early lead by the Quad Guards after one jam. That's uh, three points for the Quad. Well, now the scoreboard <laughs> shifting in. <laughs> no, Tyne and Fear. There we go. Sorry, we were trying to get the microphone situation. We had a little bit of technical difficulty getting started right now, but we are in action now. This is bout number 22. This is actually uh, semi-final number two in regards to the later on matches where we'll be able to actually determine the top three and the winners of MERDC 2013. Slash Gordon, oh, gets knocked out of bounds by more than a woman and Dark Matter, number square root of minus one or number one for Tyne and Fear, gets out for lead jammer. Now, oh, across the turn, gets shouldered by Hygienic, but manages to escape the clutches of Brave Hurt, gets out of the pack. Five points for Tyne and Fear. Slash Gordon finally completing his initial pass, but a full lap behind Dark Matter, hits the pack on his second scoring pass. A whiff from Brave Hurt, but Hygienic man manages to stay in front of him, but he gets all four points. And with those updates there, we've got two to the Quad Guards, 12 to Tyne and Fear. Superio, number 13 for the Quad Guards, facing off against Pseudo and M, number 333 for Tyne and Fear. We've got one blocker in the penalty box for each team, three on three in the pack. Monsieur Furio up front. Chemical trying to stop him, number 26 for Tynan Fear, but he's unable to do so, gets knocked down in turn two. But Pseudo and him following Monsieur Furio out of the pack, but Monsieur Furio is the lead jammer for the quad guards. Just about three strides, and Pseudo and him actually closing the gap on Monsieur Furio, but now the pack racing around the track, trying to stay ahead of the jammer. But finally, Monsieur Furio makes contact. Gets a little shove from Le, Le Rotisseur. And into the pack gets, it may have gotten past two of them. We'll wait and see, we get in, gets the ghost point. We've got a very live active audience today. I think with the majority of the teams that aren't playing, they have sent people to come and represent. And that's the sort of thing that we want definitely at this sort of tournament. Number 82, Dog, jamming for Tiny Fear, gets a cutting the track penalty, Brave Hurt. Jamming for the quad guards, gets out first for lead jammer. Now on the power jam, the quad guards at full strength. Tyne and Fear down to three blockers. Reanimated Gif digging his hip in. Gay Fox trying, backing him up, but Brave Herd able to get through. Five points for the quad guards. Cautiously making his way around. Second scoring pass of this power jam. Gay Fox, reanimated Gif, and Yorgi Bear forming a three wall, and they manage to knock Brave Hurt to the infield. Brave Hurt picking himself back up. The pack has not moved from the top of turn two. Now Slash Gordon breaking open that four wall, but reanimated Gif managing to get a piece of Brave Hurt and forces him out of bounds. Brave Hurt gets the cutting the track penalty. That's going to end the power jam for the quad guards. As soon as he sits down, of course, Dog will stand up. That's a, what we call sometimes a jack-in-the-box. I invented that term after I stole Again, it a very time. good phrase that you created this morning, but I'm not sure if it's so relevant when there's no jacks in this game. <laughs> that was the jack in the box right there. <laughs> but now Dog on the power jam. It's going to be about a 30 or 40 second power jam. Braveheart was able to get into his second scoring pass before he got in, but uh, Dog comes through. Of course not lead jammer. Braveheart did claim lead jammer, and also Dog started in this jam, so... He went to the penalty box, not eligible for lead jammer, but that was his initial pass. Now all four quad guards blockers, Maya Yanis slash Gordon Canarlake and, uh, and X-Wing. And I'm going to be stumbling over these French names a little bit for throughout this, this game, so I apologize now to all of my French-speaking uh, viewers, all of our French-speaking viewers. Yes, let, let's hope that the, the quad guards don't actually come and get you at any point during this announcement, just in case you pronounce something wrong and maybe insult their family name. They are a pretty scary looking bunch, so, uh, but Dog getting stifled somewhat on that second scoring pass and only getting two scoring passes, but gets both grand slams. That's 10 to nine. Actually got a plus one differential in that jam. The quad guards down one blocker. Canard Laque still in the penalty box. So it's a four on three pack advantage for Tyne and Fear. Tyne and Fear fielding more than a woman. Number double zero against Monsieur Furio. 
Number 13 for the quad guards are on the outside. Yorgi no, Porky, the penetrator, takes him down, but falls down himself. Mr. Furio, though, coming back in after Babam and 60 quad bit, able to get in front of him. They only slow him down for a bit, and he gets lead jammer. And now Porky, the penetrator, going to the penalty box, as well as more than a woman, so it's a power jam for the quad guards. And now Babam getting taken for a ride by Mr. Furio, who gets out for a grand slam. I think from the amount of different times we see Mr. Furio pass by, he's using different techniques in the energetic skating round, the pure forcefulness of his strength and ability, just in regards to bring it back up to the mark to show quad guards really can match Tyne and Fear, as shown in the scores. That's now 23 to the quad guards, 22 to Tyne and Fear. Three scoring passes so far by Mr. Furio, all of them grand slam, so 15 points so far. Now on his fourth one, and 60 quad bit stumbling, but also takes Mr. Furio out of bounds. He has to recycle to the top of turn two, comes back in, slips past Chemical, and 60 quad bit, and completes the fourth. The fourth grand slam, 20 points. That leaves only two blockers on the track for Tyne and Fear, quad guards at full strength with Slash Gordon leading the charge on the jammer. The audience going crazy in support of quad guards. I think, like I said earlier, for teams that have maybe not been successful in getting through further in the tournament, they are identifying with certain teams and it's great to see the support for them. Again, bringing more of Europe into male roller derby. Slash Gordon completing his first scoring pass. Only gets four out of, a, he may have had the potential for five points. Not clear, more than a woman did get out of the penalty box, but it looked like Slash Gordon did lap him, but only got four points. More than a woman still on his initial pass for Tyne and Fear. And Slash Gordon slipping up the inside just ahead of more than a woman. Gets tagged by reanimated GIF, but brushes it off. More than a woman getting out of the pack right behind him, but Slash Gordon Two laps ahead of more than a woman. That was more than a woman's for initial pass. So no points yet for Tyne and Fear. Now Slash Gordon going into, moving into complete defensive mode. It's more the fact that more than a woman and Slash Gordon seem to be having almost a psych out competition. Just making eye contact and then just going for each other. And Slash Gordon driving more than a woman out of bounds and the pack catches up, but it's all Tyne and Fear at the front of the pack, so more than a woman just getting right out of the pack again. Slash Gordon moving back into the slow motion. That's a defensive stance. He is in control of the clock, so more than a woman has no choice but to try at some point to get past him. And so, but Slash Gordon, a very fearsome blocker, just a serious double threat. One of the top blockers for the quad guards, in my opinion, and also an excellent jammer, as we've seen already. Well, I think we're seeing a lot of talents come out from both elements, the blocking and jamming from the quad guards. That brings us to 42 points for the quad guards, 22 points for Tyne and Fear, with 20 minutes left in the first period. Of course, back home. Tyne and Fear in the brown and orange, the quad guards in the red and white. Do we think Tyne and Fear have maybe met their European match here in the quad guards? I'm thinking possibly. Monsieur Fiorio getting through the pack and claiming lead jammer. He, he had to get around Barna Bash and Jorgi Bear. But there goes Dark Matter through the pack. Oh, he's no longer the square root of minus one. He, that's, that was, that's what is on his jersey, but he covered the square root and minus part, and that was simply number one. <laughs> so I wasn't making things up, but now he is simply number one. Angry Bear is one of the most fearsome and relentless blockers for the quad guards. He, uh, one, possibly one of the best blockers that I've seen at the tournament so far, but as we're, as we're seeing right now, also capable of putting in a good jam. But reanimated gift, possibly one of the best blockers on Tyne and Fear going one-on-one -on -one with this. So it's, a, it's actually a blocker battle at the front of the back for the quad guards, but Sudonim getting out first for lead jammer. Angry Bear knocked out of bounds by reanimated gift. Maya Yanus coming in, trying to knock reanimated GIF out, but uh, Angry Bear getting up and coming back in behind the Tynan Fear blocker. Now still completing his initial pass. Here's Pseudonym on his first scoring pass, but all four quad guards blockers in front of him. That's Groben de Bois, X-Wing, Maya Yanus, and Charles Martel, but they're unable to stop. No, excuse me, Pseudonym gets a forearm major. He's going to the penalty box, and we have a power jam. But Angry Bear now giving a star pass to X-Wing, the pivot for the quad guards. So X-Wing becomes the point scorer, but now one-on-one -on -one with reanimated GIF. 
still on his initial pass. Reanimated Gift takes him down going into turn three. But, <laughs> but X-Wing able to stay in bounds and Reanimated Gift getting an out of play major. And with one player left on track there, blocking for Tyne and Fear. Again, challenging X-Wing for that crossover to therefore get that pass. I think Angry Bear has shown his true colours in regards to his blocking abilities. But again, still taking on the star. It's not an easy run. So much respect to him again as a player. X-Wing coming through a second time. Gets a grand slam for the quad guards. And now reanimated gift finally reporting to the penalty box. He was waved off when he got sent to the penalty box before because Tyne and Fear already had a full blocker section. And now seat opened up, he's back in. Now it's Bob Om and 60 Quad Bit, the only two blockers on the track for Tyne and Fear. But now the quad guard's down to two blockers. That's Charles Martel and no, three blockers. Charles Martel, Gourmet Ben de Bois, and Maya Janus. The jam ends. 15 points for the quad guards, three points for Tyne and Fear. So the scores so far, 25 to Tyne and Fear, 61 to quad guards with just over 17 minutes on the clock. And we have a three on three pack. Tyne and Fear in the brown and, uh, and the quad guards in the white and red. Slash Gordon slipping through the pack, gets right past more than a woman to claim lead jammer dog number 82, stuck behind all three. Now, sorry, Hygienic dropping back to bridge, but Brave Hurt knocking dog to the infield. And Slash Gordon slipping through in the confusion gets five points for the quad guards. Now Paradox going through the penalty box, number 17 for the quad guards. That drops him down to two blockers. So three on two pack advantage with Slash Gordon having none of it. He gets right through that three on two disadvantage. Doc, dog number 82 getting out of his initial pass, but already 10 points on the board in this jam by Slash Gordon, number F22 of the quad guards. Now the pack picking up pace. Three on three in the back. No, Tyne and Fear up to four as reanimated GIF rejoins, but he's got to catch up to the pack. The pack moving very quickly. Slash Gordon finally calling off the jam. 10 points for the quad guards and Tyne and Fear coming up empty. Really, I, I, I think I nearly missed it as I blinked. The action again is happening sometimes far too fast for my human eyes to catch it. Oh, that's right. We didn't introduce ourselves. My lovely co-commentator is Smashlin Monroe. I am Bulldog. And you're not so bad yourself, Bulldog. Monsieur Fiorio into the back on his court. Oh, he gets, he's going to get only four out of potential five. That is dark matter in the penalty box for Tynan Fear as Jammer. But uh, Paradox still in the penalty box as a blocker for quad, the quad guards. Four on three pack advantage for Tyne and Fear. Maya Yanis just literally delivering a bit of quad guard shape, blocking directly to them. I, I think what that has done is just created a bit more of a rift between these two teams. I think it is getting quite personal now. And now Tyne and Fear losing another blocker. Porky the penetrator. And now reanimated GIF getting sent to the penalty box. I believe that was an out of play penalty. So now two blockers in the penalty box for Tyne and Fear. That gives a four on two back advantage to the quad guards as Mr. Fiorio comes in on another scoring pass. Third scoring pass of the jam. And calls it off by four points. That's 14 point jam for all Mr. Fiorio of the quad guards. All that was left on track there for Tyne and Fear was the filth and Gay Fawkes, and again the challenge that Mr. Furio just presenting. And again, sometimes that chap just has more of an artistic skating method that just slipped through like a hot knife through butter. Brave hurt, jamming for the quad guards, runs into a two wall. That's a more than a woman and Chemical unable to stop him. The only two blockers for Tyne and Fear. Tyne and Fear in the brown, the quad guards in the white. Braveheart comes around, this time on a scoring pass. He's already clinched lead. Jammer gets through, calls off the jam, but Dark Matter already out of the penalty box. We also have Braveheart playing there for the quad guards in what I think are officially the shortest, tightest shorts at this tournament. Uh, giving Linford Christie a run for his money. That is a kilt. It's not a traditional kilt, but it's a, I, believe, I think that might be a utility kilt. The technic, uh, that's the, might be a brand name. But, <laughs> It's a, it's a kilt. It's not a skirt, it's a kilt. You are not Hilliverance, literally. <laughs> from this point of view, and me, that is a skirt. But now we've got the quad guards at 94 points. 25 points for Tyne and Fear in the brown. 
Dog, number 82, jamming for Tyne and Fear. But Mr. Filio, number 13, for the quad guards, grabbing onto the shirt of Big Jim and whipping himself around out of the pack. But there goes Dog out of the, out of the first initial pass as well. But Mr. Furio is lead jammer. Slips into the pack, gets around Gay Fox. Caught by reanimated gift. Both skaters go down. But Mr. Furio calls off the jam and gets two points for the quad guards and calls it off before the dog can get into the pack. Yes, indeed. And now we've got Braveheart jamming for the quad guards. He's going up against Dark Matter, number one for Tyne and Fear. But Braveheart outraces Bob Om around the turn and gets lead jammer. The quad guards very consistently getting lead jammer. X-Wing just clipping Dark Matter as he gets out of the back and sends him reeling on one skate and out of bounds. Has to recycle to the top of the turn as Braveheart comes in for his first scoring pass and bashes his way past Chemical, completes the pass for five points. Dark Matter completing his initial pass, but a full lap and a half behind Braveheart. And now Braveheart cautiously approaching the back. The quad guards at full strength. Tyne and Fear down two blockers. Chemical and 60 quad bit. Try to slam the door on Braveheart, but he bashes his way through, calls off the jam. Tyne and Fear on 27. Both quad guards have broken through that century and are at 105. Number 82, Dog, jamming for Tyne and Fear. Uh, he's going against a disadvantage of four on two for the quad guards. Slash Gordon, number 82, jamming, but runs into Parky the Penetrator, gets around reanimated Gift, but Porky the Penetrator, relentless, and reanimated Gift just catching him at the top of turn two. Slash Gordon forced to recycle, and Dog gets out first, but that was, uh, sorry, he gets out of the initial pass, but Slash Gordon was already lead jammer. He did get his hips past the foremost blocker, even though he was stumbling as he did so and was forced out of bounds, but he got lead jammer and now is calling off the jam. Yes, well, let's hope that it's not a one-point game. Right now, it doesn't look like that so far. The quad guard's so strong in this first half. Tyne and Fierce sent reeling, and they've been having so much penalty trouble. They've been having difficulty keeping more than two blockers on the track at any given time, and have, had, and have given up several power jams already. Now it's Pseudonym, number 333, completing his initial pass, but Mr. Furio diving into the pack, shoulder-checking reanimated GIF out of the way, and just <laughs> dodging twice Chemical's repeated hip check attempts until Chemical actually not falling to the floor and Missy Ferriero coming out of the confusion with four points for the quad. Now we dip just below eight minutes left in the first half. The quad guards at 109, the Tyne and Fear at 27 points. We've got uh, one blocker, no, one blocker from the Tyne and Fear, two blockers from, Bra from <laughs> the quad guards in the penalty box. Three on two, pack advantage for Tyne and Fear, but nevertheless, Braveheart getting out of the pack first and claims lead jammer. Dark Matter right behind him, though. Braveheart makes a run into the pack, gets past more than a woman, and gets the ghost point, but Dark Matter able to get one point on the track and two ghost points, so it's a three to two win for Tyne and Fear in this jam. Fear lining up now against number 82 Dog for Tyne and Fear. And now the quad guards have two blockers sitting and one blocker standing. Hygienic will be rejoining the pack very shortly, but right now Big Jim all by himself for the quad guards. But Mr. Fury steps through a, a wide opening. That was a big Jim just moved to the side and drew two of the Tyne and Fear blockers to the outside. And Mr. Fury just fast as lightning through the pack, just finds that opening and just steps right through. They, they, they drop their guard for just a second, and that's all it takes for a speedster like Mr. Furio. He gets into the pack, but he, call, he calls off the jam for two points. Dog was able to get through that, get past Big Jim and follow him out of the pack, but he was not able to get into the pack himself and score any points. You did see the look of joy on Mr. Furio's face as he did get through that gap. He did a, a cracking 80s air rock. Pulled the air to him. He knew he'd done well on that point. I think very happy with how that transitional area worked. That's right. He looked He looked kind of angry. Just a little bit. I don't know why, but he just seemed that way. I think maybe you're taking his anger for concentration, possibly. <laughs> possibly. Maybe he just looks that way. F22 there slash Gordon for the quad guards stepping into the jammer position. Yeah, maybe he just has B-face. <laughs> there goes Slash Gordon through the pack. Five points for Grand Slam. Pseudonym completing his initial pass, but Le, Le Rotisseur trying to catch him in turn three. 
doesn't quite make contact. Sudonem completing his initial pass. But here comes Slash Gordon through the pack a second time. Already five points in his pocket. Calls off the jam at the front of the pack. Doesn't get all the way through. More than a woman able to stay in front of him. Only three points on the second pass, so eight points for the quad. Jose Furio lining up for the quad guards against Dog. A familiar combination here. A familiar matchup. But right now, tying in down. It's a three-on-three -three pack. One blocker from each team in the penalty box, and Dog beating Mr. Furio just barely out of the back. Mr. Furio catching up quickly, though. Both jammers making their way on into scoring position, and Mr. Furio actually coming in with a, a very... Oh, he was trying to get to the outside of Dog, but ended up coming in with a hip and clipped just inside of his hip, and now is getting sent to the penalty box for a penalty. But that was just a very subtle difference. It was just, he was off by about an inch, by my estimation. So, you and know, that it, is that's sometimes the all it takes. An inch makes all the difference. That's right. The referee has a much closer viewpoint. So that was an, a, an interesting maneuver. I haven't seen that particular, uh, that particular tactic, that particular approach to a hip check. But it is very dangerous, as you can see, because it is so close. In fact, just at the wrong angle, it, it could even, you, it's very difficult to even to see where the specific contact was made. But the referee, of course, has a very close up view, much better angle than from where we are sitting at track side. But Dark Matter getting lead jammer and coming through a first scoring pass. Grand slam, five points for Tynan Fear with Mr. Furio sitting in the penalty box. Now Dark Matter running into Maya Janus and bounces off him out of bounds and is forced to recycle back to the top of turn one. Pitches a ride with Chemical and now forcing his way ahead and gets a free pass at 20 feet around Angry Bear and gets all five points. That's 10 points for Tynan Fear so far. Dark Matter jamming for them. Comes in a third time, runs into the four wall of the quad guards. Angry Bear and X-Wing screening across together in tandem, but unable to stop him. Dark Matter coming in a third time. 15 points for Tynan Fear as the jam ends. The score now 121 for the quad guards, 45 points for Tynan Fear. Tynan Fear, of course, as we said before, in the brown and orange, and the quad guards in the white and red. And two minutes, or about two and a half minutes left in the first half. But Monsieur Furio, number 13 for the quad guards, jamming. He is in the penalty box standing up, so he'll be rejoining shortly. But right now, dog number 82 is the lone jammer on the track. Runs into, the four, into a three wall. Slash Gordon and Paradox forcing him out of bounds. He has to recycle and Monsieur Furio on the track. But get forced out of bounds himself by all four, all, well, three of the Tyne and Fear blockers. Sorry, the penalty box is partially obscured from where we are, so I apologize if we mistake how many skaters are on the track and in the penalty box. But and Mr. Fiorio gets out for his initial pass and immediately calls off the jam as soon as he is awarded lead jammer, so no score in that. And we have an official timeout called. I believe they've wrapped that up. I did not see any changes anywhere, so still the score 121 quad guards, 45 for Tyne and Fear. Brave hurt jamming for the quad guards and reanimated gift putting on the star for the first time this game and squeezing past Maya Yanis. <laughs> At least I said I didn't say out of. And there was <laughs> reanimated gift is lead jammer for Tyne and Fear. Brave hurt finally getting past jam munition number 762 for Tyne and Fear completing his initial pass, but reanimated gift into the pack and shakes off Canal Dake to get out of his initial pass. Gets all four points, calls off the jam. Four to zero for Tyne and Fear, bringing him to 49 points against 121 for the quad. Pseudonym jamming number 333 for Tyne and Fear jamming against Monsieur Fiorio, number 13 for the quad guards. And a complete scrum start. Hygienic sent to the penalty box for a multiplayer block. That's going to give Tyne and Fear a four on three pack advantage. Let's see if they can convert, but 60 quad bit giving everything it could, digging that shoulder in. But Mr. Ferrio beating him around the turn and forcing his way past. Gets lead jammer, but now pseudonym right behind Mr. Ferrio. And Mr. Ferrio slowing down and moving into a defensive stance. We saw that before with, uh, that was Slash Gordon versus more than a woman. And now we are seeing a similar tactic employed by Mr. Ferrio against pseudonym. 
He is slowing down, but look at that. The pack is also slowing down. It's three on three right now. And the, before we saw we saw Slash Gordon and uh, more than a woman, they were chasing the back around. The pack was moving at a brisk pace, but this time, Mr. Fiorio, I believe, getting a cutting the track. That's interesting. I did, I, I'm sorry, I did not see that part. I saw Sudo and him, uh, but Sudo and him going to the penalty box as well. So that we, does therefore release Mr. Fiorio straight back onto the track for that small period of time that he actually spent in there is reflected. And again, now we can say that, uh, we can actually welcome back to the track. And I'm sorry, both of those penalties happened on the opposite side of the track. We were obscured by the officials in the center of the track, so I did not see either of those penalties. Well, I saw the cutting but I, the cutting signal, but I did not see the actual cut uh, by Mr. Furio, so it caught me by surprise. And pseudonym, I, have, I still do not know what the penalty was. We'll try and get that information for you. But right now, both jammers have gone to the penalty box, so we'll be doing a full two-minute jam, but only a few seconds remain. Mr. Furio completed his, his first scoring pass. Grand second scoring pass for the quad guards. That was a grand slam, bringing its total to nine points, and time runs out. But Sudo and them able to get into the back and get all four points. So a nine Oaks. Okay. So that is the end of that first part of the bout. <laughs> I mean, if we're looking at the scores, we've got Tyne and Fear currently wearing the brown and the orange. They are at 53. And quad guards in the red and white at 130. And we are back for the second half of the quad guards versus Tyne and Fear. This is the semi, the second semi-final. The winner of this will advance to the finals for the Men's European Roller Derby Championship for 2013. Right now the score, quad guards 130, 53 for Tyne and Fear. Tyne and Fear in the brown and orange, the quad guards in the white and red. I am Bulldog, We're here. you're here with Smashlin Monroe, my lovely co-commentator. Hello. Reanimated gift jamming for Tyne and Fear just gets out of the pack ahead of number 13, Monsieur Furio, and his lead jammer. Monsieur Furio just pacing reanimated gift right now. This is only the second time reanimated gift has jammed in this game. Just gets into the pack ahead of Angry Bear and claims one point plus the ghost point for X Wing in the penalty box. So two points for Tyne and Fear and Quad Guards coming up with no, he doesn't seem to look happy about many things, Mr. Furio. Hence the name, possibly. Slash Gordon's facing off against Pseudonym. Slash Gordon for the quad guards, number F22, and Pseudonym, number 333 for Tynan. No, excuse me, not Pseudonym, number one, Dark Matter. Dark Matter jamming for Tynan Fear, but Slash Gordon getting out first. Le Rotisseur holding on to Dark Matter for as long as he can, but Dark Matter able to get around. Now about five or six strides behind Slash Gordon, both jammer and opening up the gap. Slash Gordon pouring on the speed. He started out about five strides ahead, but now Dark Matter dropping back to about 10 strides. But Slash Gordon into the pack, gets knocked out of bounds by Gay Fox of Tyne and Fear. He does get two points as he calls off the field. And waiting for this next jam to start, we'd like to wish a very happy birthday once again to John Captain Kickard. It is his birthday today, and we're very happy for him. He's one of our officials here, one of the uh, referees. And a very good friend to everyone. And it is his birthday, make it so. But here we go. This is Dog, number 82, getting out of the pack first for lead jammer. Mr. Alfiero jamming again for the quad guards, but up front going one-on-one -on -one with Chemical, now leaning in with his shoulder and gets around Chemical as they get past the 20 foot mark. But Dog on his first scoring pass in the pack already. Wide open lane on the outside, but Maya Yanos comes out of nowhere, screens across, takes Dog to the ground. And Dog calling off the jam. And it's a two to zero jam for Tyne and Fear. Are you watching the same game as I am? Uh, Braveheart races I through, hope gets, I am. gets past more than a woman. Number double zero for Tyne and Fear. But reanimated GIF races around the outside and gets past the quad guards defense. The penalty box is empty. We have five on five right now. Braveheart gets into the pack on his first scoring pass. Shrugs off a shoulder check from Gay Fox, but Gay Fox comes back and drives Braveheart out of bounds, forces him to call off the jam. Braveheart settling for a one to zero decision in this game. 
So that was a two a two point jam in the first jam for Tyne and Fear. Two points for the quad guards in the second. Two points in, for Tyne and Fear in the third, and one point for the quad guards in the fourth jam. That adds up to a four to three score for Tyne and Fear in the second half so far. And Dark Matter races through a wide open inside lane. There was a full body width of lane opened up for Dark Matter, and he just raced through so quickly. And now Mr. Fiorio driven out of bounds by the filth, number 999, and he draws the cutting. Mr. Fiorio now in the penalty box, and Dark Matter on the power jam gets through his first scoring pass for five points for Tyne and Fear. Comes around again, the pack at a standstill on the back stretch. This Tynan is a great opportunity for Dark Matter to step up to the line. I think in the wake of Mr. Fiorio being in the box, Dark Matter can utilize it to his very best. And I believe that was a forearm, illegal use of the forearms by Dark Matter sends him to the penalty box and cuts the power jam short. Now Masafirio going to get a power jam of the same length. That was about 15 or 20 seconds, I believe. Masafirio forced to draw back all the way to turn two. bob at the back of the pack now reeling it in. They're Holding him back, that is Yorgi Bear at the front of the pack, number six. But Mr. Furio able to get through, but that was his initial pass. Now Dark Matter released from the penalty box. That's the end of the power jam. Both jammers in action. Mr. Furio coming in on his first scoring pass. Batters his way past Yorgi Bear and Kemek Al to complete his pass for five points. Dark Matter on a scoring pass. In fact, his second scoring pass. But here comes Mr. Furio on his second scoring pass. Both jammers now in the pack to looking to match points. So far, five to five in the jam. Kemik Al sent to the penalty box, did not see the penalty, but that's gonna drop Tyne and Fear to three blockers. Four on three pack advantage for the quad guards. Mr. Fear up the outside with a lot of speed, just dodges a hip check from bob Om and gets five points. Dark Matter still on his second scoring pass, but getting battered by the, that's big gem number 192, and up front, Max's mom's herbicide and Canard Lake. Angry Bear stumbling in turn one, but Dark Matter not completing the, the scoring pass, but does manage to make all five passes, including Mr. Furio. And Dark Matter was completing a scoring pass that he started while Mr. Furio was in the penalty box, so that's where that fifth jammer point got, came from. So it was a 10 to 10 jam. Dog, number 82, now jamming, gets forced out of bounds by Paradox, but Paradox goes out of bounds himself, and Dog out races Maya Janus to get out of the pack for lead jammer. Slash Gordon at the front of the pack, and more than a woman can't stop him. Slash Gordon out as well. But Dog now chasing the pack. The, the quad guards three wall in the front. X wing paradox and Maya Janus. But Dog weaving his way through gets four points and calls off the jam. Four to zero for Tynan here. Still all to play for. I've seen more points scored in a shorter period of time these last few tournaments. And again, I'm not surprised if Tanifi can bring that score back. Braveheart facing off against Reanimated Gift. Reanimated Gift for Tyne and Fear. Braveheart going one on one with Porky the Penetrator, and then a little help from more than a woman who pushes his teammate into Braveheart, forcing him out of bounds. Reanimated Gift batters his way past Hygienic to get, no, gets a cutting the track, no, forearm, excuse me. We can only tell you what's happening on the track right now. The jammer for uh, slash uh, the jammer for the quad guard slash Gordon in the penalty box and reanimated gift the jammer for Tynan Fear who was sitting down is now standing up. Of course, that's a jammer swap out, so that means that slash Gordon will be will be serving the same amount of time as reanimated gift had already served, and it was so long I think it was close to pretty close to a minute though. So, or not? No, slash Gordon released almost immediately. So. I was, that was a slight, another slight exaggeration. <laughs> but <laughs> yes, are you enjoying this? <laughs> but, but reanimated gift comes around, gets a grand slam, slash Gordon completing his initial pass, but not picking up any points. So a five to zero jam for Tyne and Fear. Tyne and Fear now at 76 points, the quad guards at 143 as the clock ticks just under 21 minutes. 
And Dark Matter jamming for Tynan Fear. Mr. Furio ducks right underneath a hip check from the filth, number 999 for Tynan Fear, and gets out first for lead jammer. Dark Matter getting pummeled by X-Wing, but pummeled, but X-Wing taken out by Gay Fox. And now the Dark Matter forced to recycle to the top of turn two. Mr. Furio completing a scoring pass for a Grand Slam. And I think you can just see the pure force that X-Wing did throw out at that play for it did send himself quite far as well. And I want to apologize to all my American friends for that, that accent, or that attempted accent by Smash Slim Monroe. Tying in fear, facing off against the quad guards, slash Gordon jamming for the quad guards. Duh. Dog, number 82, taken down. The jammer for Tyne and Fear, now getting pummeled by Groben de Bois. Number 222 for the quad guards, but Dog gets around him. But Slash Gordon is the lead jammer. Dog still in the pack, facing a three wall. Around the outside of Hygienic, now trying, oh, gets past Paradox, number 17 for the quad guards, and completes his initial pass. But Slash Gordon into the pack, set his first scoring pass. Fights off bob -omb and completes the pass for four points. Quad guards have stepped up to the mark, really, with 156. Just under 19 minutes of this second period left. That's right, we have another jam and another empty penalty box. Both teams at full strength. Mr. Furio facing off against reanimated gift, number 4J, for Tyne and Fear. Mr. Furio knocked to the inside, almost fell over one of the Tyne and Fear skaters. 60 quad bit dropping back. Looks like Porky, oh, Porky the Penetrator going to the penalty box, but he is chasing reanimated gift to the penalty box. We have a power jam, Mr. Furio through the pack, completing his initial pass, and now on a scoring pass, facing a three wall. 60 quad bit, Gay Fox and Jordan Guiber holding the front line, but Gay Fox now going to the penalty box. And Mr. Furio, oh, that was his initial pass. That was a lot of confusion right in front of the commentator station. And now Mr. Furio ramming into 60 quad bit, but he just caught the outside of the shoulder. Sent him and, flying and across sent the floor. Him flying, but for it was, that. the referee calls it a clean block. And that was a beautiful screen by Maya Janus knocking 60 quad bit into Yorgi Bear, forcing them both to the inside. But now the, the pack referee sending Maya Janus to the penalty box. But Mr. Furio getting a second scoring pass, 10 points, and comes through a third time. Just dodging around Yorgi Bear. And I think and the look on Yorgi Bear's face was he was like, dare I challenge him? But I think he couldn't stand to take that hit anymore. Reanimated Gif and Porky, the penetrator, will be returning shortly after the first whistle. But Slash Gordon right now skating unopposed and gets around more than a woman and Chemical. And more than a woman sent to the penalty box. I believe that was an out of play penalty. But Reanimated Gif comes in, slams his shoulder into Le Rotisseur. Le Rotisseur, <laughs> and gets out of his initial pass, but there goes Slash Gordon through the pack on a first scoring pass. That three on th uh, three on two pack, quad guards with that advantage. Mr. Furio dipping up the inside lane, or between bob -Omb and Chemical, and Dark Matter racing through. Oh, Dust dodges a shoulder check from Angry Bear to get out of the pack. Both jammers making their way around, but Dark Matter a half a lap behind Mr. Furio as Mr. Furio, Mr. Furio gets into the pack on his first scoring pass. Easily around the outside, just makes contact with bob -Omb and brushes it off, calls off the fan. There is officially 101 points difference between the teams. We have Tiny Furio at 76, Quad Guards at 177. And a three on three pack. And 60 quad bit making his debut on the jammer line for Tyne and Fear, but he is knocked out of bounds by the quad guards jammer Slash Gordon. Slash Gordon now making a run through, but reanimated GIF and Yorgi Bear putting up a fight at the front, forcing him out of bounds to the inside. Slash Gordon drops back, gets back on clean, but still stuck behind that three wall. Reanimated GIF, Yorgi Bear, and Porky the Penetrator. But a race around the outside. The other two are screened off by Hygienic. And then Porky the Penetrator unable to stop him. Slash Gordon gets through the pack, completes his initial pass. 60 quad bit still on his initial pass, but Slash Gordon into the pack, knocks down reanimated GIF as he's passing by, but gets, gets a forearm penalty. So that means we're on the power jam. 60 quad bit 
gets through the pack. Not lead jammer, of course. Slash Gordon already clinched it. So now a three wall on the power jam. Mox is mum's derby side. Turns around, trying to hold back 60 quad bit. Falls down. Mayanus manages to get 60 quad bit out of bounds, forcing him to recycle back to the, pit, the back to the jammer line. The pack anchored. All four Titan and Fear blockers holding the line and preventing uh, the quad guards from moving past the jammer line. 60 quad bit getting his first grand slam. Now only one blocker left on the track right now, but 60 and quad bit slams right into a shoulder screen from Maya Yanus. And now Maya Yanus getting a penalty. I don't, I'm not sure what the penalty was, but I think it was that delivery from Maya Yanus in regards to 60 bit squad that actually got him sent off. Um, the delivery was not necessarily a clean application, so I'm believing uh, from what I've seen of the officials that it was the reasoning why. But I believe in this jam, every single member of the quad guards uh, has been sent to the box, except possibly Max's mom's derby side. I saw him do something, but, uh, but a very penalty heavy jam for the quad guards. But nevertheless, Slash Gordon able to get four points. But Tynan Fears, Jammer 60 quad bit on his debut, gets three grand slams for 15. I hope I said that right. But uh, he's facing off against Dog, number 82. Dog quickly up to the front, runs into X-Wing and Max's mom Derby side. Braveheart leaning into, squeezes past Gay Fox and Bob Ong. Chemical unable to make contact and Braveheart is through for lead Jammer. And the crowd actually very enthusiastic. Very glad to see this very strong skater back on the track after and a somewhat scary injury earlier in the game. And I oh, think the look of pleasure on the team quad's faces, they're looking at him with pride and glad that again he's back on track. A big shoulder check from Braybert slams Dog to the ground, but Dog gets back up in front of the pack. Now both jammers moving into scoring position. Neither one has scored any points in this jam so far. But Braveheart now coming up on the pack on his first scoring pass. Hits the pack, slips past Gay Fox, but calls off the jam. Only gets one point. Quad guards to exactly double the tiny inferior score. The score 182 to 91. The quad guards in the white and red. The tiny inferior in the brown and orange. Slash Gordon slipping past reanimated Gift to get out of the pack. Dark Matter at the front of the pack going against. Getting past Groben de Bois, Le Rotisser trying to hold on. But Dark Matter gets a back block major against Le Rotisser and is sent to the penalty box. If you're playing in the championship, the worst you can do is second place. But if you're playing in the third place bout, if you lose, you get nothing. You don't even show up on the, they're gonna erase your name from the website. Well, that, probably not. But. That's uh, you're going home alone, lose. That's right, so you can expect a very fierce battle, but Braveheart returning to the jammer line. Now on the score, on the power jam, that's a dark matter in the penalty box as jammer for Tynan Fear. Braveheart coming in a second time, rams into, rams into Porky the penetrator and gets an illegal use of the forearms and Braveheart reporting to the penalty box. That means we're going to have a jack-in-the-box jammers. Dark matter will be released from the penalty box as soon as Braveheart sits down, which should be any second now, there he goes. But in the, in the meantime, while Braveheart was making his way around, both of the blockers that were in the penalty box for Tynan Fear were released. So now Tynan Fear at full strength, Dark Matter on the power jam himself. And Maximum Derbyside, the last line of defense for the quad guards can't hold him in. And Dark Matter completing his initial pass. And I think that initial pass was a very good show of Dark Matter focusing on the matter at hand instead of worrying about the external issues that his team may be facing. This time, Canard Lake trying to hold on to Dark Matter, but Dark Matter able to fight his way through, gets five points. And there goes Dark Matter again, this time brushing off a shoulder check from Canard Lake to get out of the pack, and now 10 points for Tyne and Fear. And an excellent supportive hit there from Porky, number eight for Tyne and Fear, to therefore allow Dark Matter to go round for that five-point pass. That was, a third grand, that was the third Grand Slam for Dark Matter of Tynan Fear, but Braveheart coming in. He will be completing his second scoring pass. He already has five points to Tynan Fear's 15. Completes the scoring pass for four. Tynan Fear's Dark Matter 
Comes through for four as well. So a 19 to nine jam. And that's going to be Tyne and Fear plus 10. And I think Tyne and Fear will be very, very happy with the work that Blanc Knight did during that jam. Like I say, it's impacted upon the scores. 110 to Tyne and Fear, 196 to the quad guards. With just over eight minutes of this period left. All right, so Tyne and Fear coming out very strong in the second half. But now we have a uh, four on three pack advantage for the quad guards. Kemic Al sitting in the penalty box for Tyne and Fear. And uh, Slash Gordon, number F22, jamming for the quad guards against that uh, looks like Pseudonym. Yes, yeah, Pseudonym, number 30, uh, number 333 for Tyne and Fear. Slash Gordon out of the pack for lead jammer, though. There goes more than a woman, number double zero for Tyne and Fear to the penalty box. That's going to bring it down to a four on two pack advantage for the quad guards. Slash Gordon on a scoring pass, knocks down Barnabash, number ouch, and reanimated gift, number four J, forcing Slash Gordon out of bounds and Slash Gordon calling off the jam before he gets a cut and comes up with four points for the quad guards. Jamming for Tyne and Fear right now, number 82 Dog against number 13 Mr. Furio for the quad guards. It's a loose scrum start. Dog dodging back and forth, but Mr. Furio bursting right up the center of the track and gets the lead jammer. There goes Dog at the back of the pack, dodges past Maya Janus, Max's mom derby side, and Lero Tissera still at the front with a two wall. Max's mom derby side, oh, drops back, looks back. I think he may have thought he was out of contact, he, but he could have engaged, but Dog taking advantage of that lapse in concentration gets through the pack. But Mr. Furio completing his first scoring pass for four points. So four to zero so far. Mr. Furio watching the Tiny Fear jammer and waits until the last second, calls off the jam. A four to zero jam for the quad guards. But it's good to see people coming up against people that are identified as strong blockers that you can quite clearly see in the play. It's nice to see that challenge for other people. Yes, I think there's been an increase in confidence by Tyne and Fear over the course of the bout, particularly with the blocking. But to Hygienic does not jam very often for the quad guards, but when he does, he use, you can usually be counted on to put some points on the board. And now he comes around, gets lead jammer, slips into the pack. Right behind him is Dark Matter, but he calls off the jam, but not in time. It's a two to two tie in the jam. And I see someone being sent off for a forearm major slash Gordon going to the penalty box as pivot for the quad guards. Late in the jam, gets a forearm major angry bear returning to the bench. That leaves only three blockers on the track for the quad guards. Tyne and Fear at full strength. It looks like number 64, 60 quad bit. Jamming once again for Tyne and Fear. He scored 15 points in the first time he jammed. This is his second time. Knocks down Lero Rotisser and gets a forearm major. That leaves only Mr. Furio. He ducks under a shoulder check from Porky the Penetrator and gets out of the pack. He is lead jammer for the quad guards. And now on the power jam. It's a four on three pack advantage. No, it is a three on three pack now with Chemical reporting to the penalty box. Porky the penetrator knocking down Mr. Fiorio. Maya Yan is trying to break up the wall, but the wall holding firm. And I, I have to say that I think Mr. Fiorio is getting tired now. Uh, you can see that the normal flair that he has in certain movements, he's not displaying right now. And also, the China Fear blockers, they are stepping up to Mr. Furio. Now for a second there, I, was, I just have to say for a moment there, there were the three Tyne and Fear blockers were, in invert, were turned around and, they were, and lined up against the three quad guards blockers with Mr. Furio in the middle. I couldn't help but be reminded by the beaded video. <laughs> That's why it looked for a minute. Some just sort like of dance Michael off Jackson was happening. Needed. Video, so that's why I'm laughing right now. But it was a it was a furious battle. The two blockers now, Porky the Penetrator and Bob Om, unable to stop Mr. Furio on his second on his third scoring pass. That's 15 points, three grand slams, but now 60 quad Bic back in action. Racing into the pack. Mr. Furio just ducking straight through the pack, just gets so low. Uh, just gets down to knee level for most of the skaters and completes a fourth scoring pass, a fourth grand slam for the quad guards. 60 quad bit driven to the infield by Slash Gordon. And Mr. Furio coming around again. Gets knocked to the outside by Kemic Al, number 26 for Tyne and Fear. Has to be, gets drawn back to the top of turn three. 
60 quad bit at the front of the pack, driven out of bounds repeatedly by Slash Gordon, but Mr. Ferio with a burst of speed moves up the inside, gets past more than a woman, and Kemek Al completes the pass. A scoring of 112 to Tyne and Fair, 231 to the quad guards. Um, but again, I, I still think it's something that Tyne and Fear are not letting Mr. Furio or anyone else take it away from them. I think they will finish on a high note and as much effort as they can put in. As high as a note by Michael Jackson himself. <laughs> X-Wing coming. May he rest in I peace. I still have the image in my head. Yes. <laughs> Again, you're just showing your age there, Bulldog. Showing your age. <laughs> but, okay, now that we're past the morbid section of the, of the bout cast, We've got Hygienic jamming once again for the quad. Garcia's lead jammer now on his first scoring pass. Dog number 82 still stuck in the pack. Driving around the outside, just squeezes past. Kind of, uh, that is Paradox, number 17. But he is caught by Charles Mattel and X-Wing. And now the three wall reforms. Dog still trying to get through his initial pass. Paradox matching every single move, and now X-Wing driving him to the outside. Dog just twists around both blockers and gets out for his initial pass. But Hygienic calling off the jam and gets four points for the quad heroes. And they are not giving up at all. Still fighting the battle, fighting the good fight. Right now, Dark Matter number one jamming for Tyne and Fear. Around the, oh, ducks to the inside of Max's mom Derby side and gets past Lero Tisser and claims Lee Jammer, the crowd going crazy. And Slash Gordon still in the pack, but manages to squeeze past reanimated GIF and Chemical to complete his initial pass as Dark Matter slides into the back of the pack, knocking down Maximum Derby side, popping back to his feet, getting around Leroy Tisser to complete his scoring pass and gets four points. But right behind him, Slash Gordon matches those four points. So Tyne and Fear in control of the clock, and but only about four or five strides ahead of the quad guards jammer. That is Slash Dark Gordon. Matter. Dark Matter hopping. Oh, he, he hopped a beautiful the little jump that teammate. was. What a beautiful display. Again, it's not Dark Matter being cocky as some people may showboat and things like that. Again, he was utilizing these last few minutes, like I say. Tyne and Fear aren't going to take this lying down. Really displaying their ability as a team. Another four points for Dark Matter. Now Slash Gordon heading to the penalty box. And a, third, a fourth scoring pass for Dark Matter of Tyne and Fear. The score, it looks like 17 points for this gem. Slash Gordon in the penalty box, sitting on four points, and another scoring pass. May have gotten some points, but the Tiny Fear Jammer Dark Matter through the pack again. Another grand slam. Up to 22 points in this jam. So Tyne and Fear, the very clock has expired, but so Tyne and Fear finishing strong. Reanimated gift, clearing out Angry Bear and Lero Tissera. Both of them oh. with one shoulder check, but now going to the penalty box. And, and I think reanimated GIF was just like, I'm going to take this one out for my team. And the look on his face was fantastic. And now they're going over 30 points in this jam. Up to 32 and points in the final jam of this of the second game of the semifinals. Dark Matter but trying to leap across, but does not make and it in time. I think that was a wonderful Superman finish there from Dark Matter. Fantastic display of one man and what he can do in regards to those speed laps. For Tyne and Fear, 144. Quad Guards, 242. I, I think after today, we've learned your maths and your French are not your strong points, Bulldog. But thank you very much for working with me today. <laughs> it's been lots of fun correcting you. <laughs> well, it has been fun getting correction from you. <laughs> and you can watch that later on pay-per-view. But right now, we're <laughs> wrapping this up. And, you can, and, we, and you're welcome. <laughs> this is Bulldog and signing off. And this is Smashley Monroe saying thank you very much, Bulldog. Goodbye.
Dance Smashley Monroe and I've been given the fantastic opportunity to interview a couple of the players from the last game. Uh, we have Dog here from Tyne and Fear and the fantastic Slash Gordon from Quad Gods. And I want to say, like, how did you think that one went? Uh, what the? <laughs> and it looks like it's a little bit out of breath, so I will, I will face that question there just towards Dog. So then, tell us how you're feeling about that one. It was a great game. Um, we were expecting it to be really tough and um, I think what the score and the game just proves is that it was. It was quite tough and the quad guards are a really great team and they're really, really tight. So it was tough to get through, tough to get um, to stop their jammers. I think they've just got a really well-rounded team, you know. Uh, yeah, we were really tired after uh, the bottom uh, from yesterday. So we knew that they it's hard. So we knew that at the beginning of the of the boat, it would be it would be hard for us. So we waited and uh, I think we have a more, we, we work more perhaps in wall and less than in it. So during the bots, we, we saw that we left uh, less uh, sorry, forces in the, in the boat. So I think at the end it was easier for us, but uh, it was a really, really good game. Fantastic to watch and to comment on. Um, just going back to you there, Dog. Um, basically, are you looking forward to your third place battle against the Inhuman League? Uh, definitely. It should be a bit of a, um, a good game, I think. Um, we played the Inhuman League a few times and um, it's always been quite tight, so um, I think we're in for a, an exciting third uh, place showdown. Fantastic. And just to go back to yourself, uh, um, looks like we're going to have a bit of a replay of the final from last year. That you're actually going to be facing um, Southern Discomfort next, and how are you feeling about that? Uh, <laughs> it will be the fifth time that we play them in uh, one year and a half. <laughs> we played them uh, three weeks ago in France. We didn't play really good, I think, and uh, we lost by 50, 60 points. I think it will be a great game. As, uh, the, we will see which team is more tired than the other, and uh, I think the penalties will be really important in that game so we will try to be concentrated and uh, this year we'll try to, to have the cup. <laughs> well that's fantastic thanks very much guys for taking time out to talk to me and good luck in both of your matches and I'm sure I will see you for the final results later on. Thank you. Thank you.